When driving on wet pavement, it's important to remember a that pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain. b that wet roads can cause hydroplaning. c to give yourself additional space when coming to a stop. d all of the above. d all of the above. Wet roadway surfaces can be dangerously slick, especially immediately following a rainfall. When you are driving on wet roads, your vehicle is traveling on a thin layer of oil, dirt, and water. Slow down when there is heavy rain, standing water, or slush on the road to reduce the risk of your wheels losing traction on the slick surface. This sign means a. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. B. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. C. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. You must yield to a pedestrian using a white cane or guide dog. A. Only when the guide dog is leading the person across the street. B. At all times. C. Only if a crossing guard is present. B. At all times. Pedestrians who use guide dogs or white canes, with or without a red tip, must be given the right of way at all times. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A in order to see potential hazards early. b. Because it takes a quarter of a mile to stop your vehicle completely. c. Because it helps you keep up with traffic. a. In order to see potential hazards early. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramps and interchanges and be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. What might happen when alcohol is combined with another drug? A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. B. Nothing will happen. C. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be reduced. D. The effects of only the alcohol may be reduced. A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Consuming both alcohol and another drug may enhance the effects of both. For example, taking one drink when you are also using a cold remedy could affect you as if you have had several drinks. Texting while driving is A. Always legal, but not recommended. B. Illegal. C. A safe activity. D. Legal, but only for non-probationary license holders. B. Illegal. In the state of New York, drivers are not permitted to use a cell phone to type or read a text or email while operating a vehicle. Texting while driving can result in a fine of up to $450. You may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a railroad crossing. A. As long as an approaching train is not too close. B. If your vehicle can do so without damaging the gate. C. If you first look carefully in both directions. D. Under no circumstances. 
D. Under no circumstances. Flashing red lights, lowered crossing gates, and or bells at a railroad crossing mean that you must come to a complete stop. You must not go across the tracks until the lights and bells have stopped and the crossing gates are completely up. Do not drive around or under a gate that is moving up or down. In the state of New York. Fill in the blank. Must wear seat belts in moving vehicles. A. Only drivers. B. Only passengers. C. Drivers and all passengers. D. Only children. C. Drivers and all passengers. In the state of New York, all adults in moving motor vehicles are required to use seat belts. All children in moving vehicles should be properly fastened into seat belts, booster seats, or child restraint systems. Drivers or passengers may be charged fines of up to $100 for failing to properly use seat belts. You want to turn left at an intersection. The light is green but oncoming traffic is heavy. You should A. Use the next intersection. B. Wait at the crosswalk for traffic to clear. C. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. D. Take the right of way since you have a green light. C. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. When making a left turn where there is approaching traffic, you must wait for the approaching traffic to go through before you turn. You may enter the intersection to prepare for your left turn if the light is green and no other vehicle ahead of you plans to make a left turn. This sign means A. All traffic must turn left. B. No left turn. C. No U-turn. D. Truck route to the left. After you have passed a vehicle moving in the same direction, it is safe to move back into the right lane. A. After about three seconds. B. When you can no longer see the passed vehicle over your right shoulder. C. When you can see the entire front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. When you can see the entire front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing, you should not return to your original lane until you can see both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. Always check your blind spots before moving back into your original lane. If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? A. Drink coffee before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. C. Take a cold shower before driving. D. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. At an intersection with stop signs on all corners, yield the right of way to any driver. A. On your left. B. Who arrived before you. C. Across from your vehicle. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that passing is A. Permitted from the side next to the solid yellow line. B. Not permitted from either direction. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. When the center of the road is marked by a solid yellow line beside a broken yellow line, 
Passing is permitted from the side next to the broken line and prohibited from the side next to the solid line. A seat belt should be adjusted so that it a is loose, b is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen, c is hidden beneath the seat, d keeps the seat belt buzzer or light from operating, b is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen. Lap belts should fit snugly across your hip bones and the lower part of your abdomen. Shoulder belts should sit comfortably so that you can insert your fist between the belt and your chest. A diamond-shaped sign is a A. Road hazard sign B. Interstate route sign C. School crossing sign D. Speed limit sign If you need to pass behind a tractor trailer that is backing up, you should A. Pass quickly. B. Wait for the truck to stop backing up before you begin passing. C. Honk to let the driver know you are passing. D. Assume that the driver can see you. B. Wait for the truck to stop backing up before you begin passing. Large vehicles have large blind spots to the rear. If you are behind a large vehicle, it is very likely that the driver does not know you are there. Because of this, if you need to pass behind a large vehicle that is backing up, it is always the safest option to wait for the truck's backup maneuver to finish before you pass. The best way to avoid hydroplaning is to A. Keep your tires properly maintained. B. Slow down when roads are wet or slushy. C. Watch out for standing water or puddles. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When roads are wet, cars take a longer distance to stop and may skid on quick turns. Do not use cruise control when driving under wet or icy conditions. Reduce your speed and drive with caution. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead B. Steep grade ahead C. Winding road D. Merging traffic B. Steep grade ahead This sign indicates that a steep downhill grade is ahead. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway, a. Stop and make a U-turn. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. D. Back up on the highway. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up or try to turn around on the highway. Go to the next exit and safely turn around. 